Hey advisory, this is Miss Corey. Today we're going to be talking about well-paying jobs without degrees. So we are going to talk about examples of high-paying jobs without a college or a tech college degree. Some of these jobs may require on-site training or like courses, but they don't require things like associate's degree or bachelor's degree. So I'm going to ask you this question. What is a job you can think of that pays fairly well and requires no college or tech degree? So there's a lot, and we're just going to go through a few of them today. So here's the first one I pulled out, which would be the librarian assistant. So before you become a librarian assistant, usually someone starts off with a shelving assistant. And for Hennepin County, that starts at $18.50 per hour, which isn't very good. But after two or more years, that person could qualify for a librarian assistant, and they could make up to $76,000 a year, or $36 per hour. Uh, some library systems ask for two-year associate's degrees, some don't, so it really just depends on what library system it is. The next one would be a firefighter. So, before you be can become a firefighter, first you must become an EMT or an emergency medical technician. And this you will get through usually an 8 to 12 week training course found in most community colleges. Cost about $250 to $550, so not too much. And it allows you to become an ambulance EMT. So that's those people who are the first responders in the ambulance, like getting the people from the car crashes or the fires or whatever. Now, I don't necessarily recommend to be an ambulance EMT just because you get paid like nothing. You only get paid $16 an hour. And it's also very traumatic uh, because you're the first one on the site for car crashes, you know, for killings and other deaths and other like bloody gory stuff. So unless you're passionate about that, probably would not be the most fabulous choice. But you need the EMT degree to become a firefighter. So once you get your EMT or certification and then your high school degree, you can apply to become a firefighter. So typically tr cities train you how to like drive the emergency vehicles and other firefighting stuff. Uh, you have to have a minimal cr criminal record. You also have to be fairly physically fit. In Minneapolis, this is firefighter average salary is about 76000 a year. Uh, one of the biggest downfalls of being a firefighter is that all the fires expose you to a lot of harsh chemicals. Another job that does not require a degree that has pretty good pay is actually a metro transit driver. So that's for either the bus or the light rail systems. And pay starts at $27. All you need is your high school diploma. It includes paid training, which is really nice. And your pay will increase after two years. Another really high paying job uh, is a flight attendant. So for a flight attendant, all you need is a high school degree. Uh, the kind of the big catch of it is that you must be a minimum of 21 years old. So this is not a job you can just do right out of high school. You gotta wait a few years. And typically they are trained within six to eight week training program. Of course, the company or the airline that you work for will train you and pay for your training. You also have to be able to work varying times and on international flights. So if you don't want to travel the world or across the country, probably not the best job. But if you are a traveler and love it, this could be a cool job for you. So the per hour pay really varies on the airline, anywhere from 26 to 35, with the Delta being the highest paid. Another really kind of cool job you could have as an electrician. Now, there's kind of two paths that you could take to become an electrician. You can do the technical college route or you can do the apprenticeship route. And since this slideshow is about high paying jobs without degrees, we're going to kind of cut out the tech college route and learn about the apprenticeship route. So all you need is a high school degree and then you go into an apprenticeship. And typically it's about five years. But the cool thing is that you are paid when you train. OK, uh, if you're interested, you can contact the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers or IBEW. Um, they seem to be the best people to do the internship through. And the salary starts at about 60000 per year. Another job would be a quality control specialist. All you need, this is your high school degree. 
And that's where you examine a company's product for proper function, also providing information to assemblers about their job performance. Uh, this is a really popular job in the shipping industries and also the medical device manufacturers, which there's quite a few around the metro area. Some companies may require experience with assembly and or shipping, and you're going to make about 60000 a year, but it really is going to depend on the company and what you're doing. Another job, which this one kind of surprised me, I thought they would be paid a little bit more, would be the mail carrier. So for a mail carrier, all you need is a high school diploma. you got to make sure you have a clean criminal record uh, because it is a federal job. You get one month of on-the-job training. You have to be 18 years or older, so that's one you could do straight out of high school if you want. And the salaries really, really vary on where you're working. So in Minneapolis, you start at about $20 per hour, which is okay money. For Elk River, you are only at $17 per hour, which kind of surprised me, to be honest. Uh, another thing that Mrs. Gosha brought up, too, is mail carriers have really good benefits, so that's one of the big draws to this job. All right, I think this is the last one, and that would be the commercial driver license or a truck driver. So typically you need a high school diploma, which is required. In Minnesota, you have to be at least 18 years old to drive a commercial truck. Uh, but the catch is, is all the states surrounding us, you have to be at least 21. So if you're going to go right out of high school and become a truck driver, that's awesome. But you can only drive in the state of Minnesota. You can't cross over into like the Dakotas or Wisconsin. You have to be at least 21 to do that. You also have to take the CDL permit course. A lot of community colleges offer it. And what's really nice too is a lot of truck employers uh, will pay for your training. And it typically is about six weeks. Then after that, you're gonna take the more practical hands-on practice courses. This is where you actually practice how to drive. It can take anywhere from 10 weeks to one year, just depending on your course that you take and how good of a driver you are. Um, and you need to pass the class D driver license test. And then after that, you have to pass another exam, which is the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration exam. So that's a government exam and pretty much is just to make sure that, like, you know how to drive a truck. Uh, salaries vary on what company you work for or if you work independently. Now, this really surprised me because Minnesota is typically really good about being above the national average for salaries. But this is kind of the flip-flop. So commercial drivers in Minnesota actually only make an average of $70,000 per year, where the U.S. average is $79,000, which was really surprising. So that was a lot of information that I just threw at you. So here's kind of my tips and tricks for jobs. So when you're looking for a job, look for a job close-ish close -ish to your home. So for me, like 30 minutes one way is like absolute max. Okay, because you don't want to spend all your day just driving a car to and from work. Look to see how long the average employee stays at the company. If it's less than one to two years, that might be a red flag. Uh, if you're getting kicked off your parents or guardian's health insurance, look for a job with immediate benefits. Look for a job that also has a 401k or a retirement plan. Also, during your interview, ask your employer about sick, sick time, personal time off or PTO, and also maternity leave and male paternity leave too, okay? Those are super fair questions to ask your employer during the interview process. And if your job is a union, I really encourage you to join it because the union fee you pay goes for the fight for a higher salary and more benefits. So, I'm just going to pause here for a second. What questions or comments do you have? If you don't have any, you can just say none. All right, let's wrap it up for today. So thank you for coming and participating. Next two weeks, there's actually not going to be advisory. So instead, you are going to get an email from us this week about setting a time to meet with us in the coming two weeks and it's just kind of a check-in meeting, just really chill, just on Google Meets, just seeing how you're doing and that stuff. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, please let us know. We are here to help you. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. Sorry, it was a long one of my longer videos. Bye.